Good morning. Once again from beautiful Marika Bay, Upper Mahikoni River. Look at good, Andy. I wake up find this man fishing. Morning, morning. Yeah, brother, morning. You catch one fish this morning. At least we got curry for today. All right. Lovely, lovely. And this man, man of the fire here with this man camp right. Right up top here, this man camp last night. The one, my morning. Good morning, sir. How morning. are you? Bright as the sunshine. Ah, uh, yes, yes. The night was really good. I know, like the moonlight, and now it's bright like a sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> you got a sun shine bright like a diamond. You're looking bright, man. <laughs> Hi. So, my fish pro camp right across under the shed. This man fishing all night last night, but the only thing, he didn't get a lot of fish. He got enough. In the meantime, I'm by the across there, taking a dip. Morning, morning, gentlemen. Morning, morning. All right. How can life get better than this, boy? Life can't get better than this. Can't. All right, so we... I go across there once again to get a, a dip in this creek. We're leaving later on today by lunch. So at least for now we're gonna get another dip and um, you know enjoy every moment we have here in Marika Bay. Now look at this, making my way into the creek. The only thing they need to get. The landing a little bit more out so you could walk down. You know, a little step. The water is cold. Oh. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the one dip you gotta make and you're good. <laughs> Your body adapt to the temperature. <laughs> Alright? Couldn't get enough of this here, boy. <clears throat> it's like you're in a little refrigerator here with some cool water and you're reviving. You don't try that, I don't say. Are you going Kaura to take a revival? Well, we're right now here in Maikoni River taking a revival. <laughs> but we ain't hangover. <laughs> right? It's no hangover. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Fish Pro already catch lunch there, but you see the man like, strike up the smoke across there. You get a roast fish, you know. We got roast fish for lunch. Mm -hmm. Take a time, take a time. One, two. <laughs> the one, two flick. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, he made, he made it all back. He made it all back. Yeah. That's the one, two flick. I can't do it. Oh my gosh. Morning, morning, Uncle. You like the man, uh... oh, go on. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. You like the man? Yeah, yeah, like mama. The hey. My son. <laughs> What? What? Oh! Wow! <laughs> yeah, yeah, got him off the camera there. Watch me down, watch me down. You gotta get a springboard. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. We got, we got, we got Michael Phelps. <laughs> yeah, be careful him out of the car, don't you? Yeah, be careful. I want to say a special thank you to the to show here in Marika Bay, to all the councillors, all the dignitaries here, you know, all the folks who made our stay here comfortable and possible. Thank you to my team who assisted, you know, a lot, getting the food hampers um, distributed here. Thanks to you. Yes, to show. Thank you all, man, for, you know, for all. It's, it's teamwork, yeah, and thanks to all the donors. All the goodness. Yes, so all the goodness, right? So the show from Pakuri Mission would like to extend a thank you to all the donors, you know, for making this possible today. And I personally want to say thank you to all the donors who made it possible for us to come in here for a reason. I mean, we could have come in here just for a joy ride, but we came here for a different reason. You know, we brought goodwill for the people, and these people are more in need because they're way out, 96 miles away from civilization, from the public road. So it's hard to get things here. And these folks depend on fishing, farming, hunting, and logging. 
you know, you don't have a regular job here on a normal day. You know, most of the folks are they're, they're farmers. I know we coming here are gonna definitely impact this community in a special way. We hope to come here again and to do more for this village and this community. So I wanna once again thank all the folks here in the community. The people here are very humble. They're very nice people. They're very warm and welcoming. Thank you from the bottom of Team ARD for our hearts. All right? I fed whole night last night. I fed whole night the next night. And I have a hangover. So I hang it down by the river to... To do a... To take a swim. I take a dip. I can't remember the rest of the piece of the song. <laughs> hey. The goodness. Continue. Look what's going on here, boy. And when you're cooking, you're cooking. Where you roasting the pot now? Oh, the Kabul. The Kabul fish? Mm. Alright, so we got roast fish for breakfast, eh, boy. This is the number one chef in the mission here, boy. For preparing the roast fish. Fish for how much more you catch, boy? Mm. Catch in a cold. The man, the man, the man not happy. The man not catching fish, the man ain't happy, boy. Nobody ain't gonna be happy when they're not catching fish. <laughs> and now remember the tune, you know. Every Saturday we lime in from bar to bar and every Sunday is river. Big tune, right? So today's Sunday, Sunday morning. Just finish up by the river there. Heading back to the guest house. I'm gonna pick up the luggage. Start back up the boat. Heading down the river. Then back to Georgetown. I don't start feeling sad I gotta leave this beautiful place here, Marakabai. But life goes on. We can come again some other time to this beautiful place. Look at that, boy. Fish are already roasted, boy. Looking all good. Avocado? Yeah. Thanks, man. No, so, I'm gonna help you out a lot, man. No, you gotta put it for it. You gotta put it right there. Empty out that thing, I gotta wash out. Take out the water, I gotta wash out. I gotta wash out. Empty it, sorry. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let me get this fresh off the um the grill here. What if you go hot, boy? It's almost hot, it. I put the thing up for the man. That's the thing. That's it. You put the next one. Thank you. Have a camera inside. Yeah. Alright. Look at this, boy. Fresh out of that river there, but he was swimming. One day swimming yesterday afternoon, one day swimming this morning. Roast fish and pepper sauce, boy. Life can get better, boy. Hot, boy. The fire Mm-hmm. Tastes somewhat like Lakhanani. Kind of a similar taste. Yeah. The texture of the fish. Nice. Same here, same like Lakhanani. Mm. Very meaty, thick. What good by? Fresh, organic. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get better than this. Oh. Where's the fish, bro? How, how it is? Couldn't get fresh than this? Never. Come on, go try the fish. Yeah. You are the cook man, you know, you gotta try the thing and tell a bit how it works. And you say you're from good fit, my Coney? Yeah. And you moved to this mission when you were 18 years old? Yeah. Wow, Uncle moved here when he was 18 years old. Wow. Good fit. You had to have good fit mm -hmm. to leave the roadside. We carry a minibus and so I drive there and come down here with a boat and walk in there. All right. But, and you've been here like about, about 40 years. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful, man. So if, if Uncle survived here for 40 years, leave the roadside and come down here in the jungle and made it 40 years, I can make it here, man. Don't you worry. I can come here again. I might move here too. And the man healthy as well, you know. This man look more young than me, boy. And about 60 years old, then you look young than me. Because of the, the fresh air that you breed here and the organic food, the lifestyle here, you live longer and stronger. My friend Gavin, he's a council on the mission here, right? And the man bring me some nuts. And this is how you survive in the jungle, right? What do you call a nut? This is a sourie nut. Sourie nut, and another name? 
No, it's a sour nut. Sour nut. Sour. It's a sour nut or also called huri nut. Like a huri, a huri fish, all right. So the nut is considered a huri nut or a sour nut. And I want to say thanks to my man Trevor. <laughs> Uncle Trevor, preacher boss. Well, I'm using your knife now. I come camping and fishing with your knife, right? Thank you for this knife. And the brother here, this, Gavin is going to open the nut and show us. This nut is very hard. Uh -huh. It's a scarce nut in the jungle. Wow. And it, it is a, it's a big white white nut. Similar, this when you bust it, you would see the shape is similar like the cashew nut. Wow. Right? But it's way, way larger than the cashew. Cashew nut, lovely. So we can get some protein from that, boy. Yeah, Hi. Lovely. Uh huh. It's shaped like the cashew nut. Cashew nut, there, boy. Well, I'm kidding you too. Not mine. Nut. I love nut. Yeah, you do not, though. Mm hmm. Wow. Crunchy. Mm hmm. It tastes like almond nut. Like a similar almond. Yeah. You call almond nut or we call almond or almond? Yeah, yeah. Can taste like almond nut as a small boy growing up. We used to get the almond nuts from the almond tree. Similar taste, man. It tastes real good. Fish bro, how it work? Uh, better than the almond nut. Better? Mm -hmm. I doubt you, but it's organic. Fresh. Uh, better. Mm -hmm. But as we talk and as we eat the nut, look what's going on up there. But use that nut, man. Like yeah, rain. And it's kind of juicy too. Yeah. There's a little, a little milkiness to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, rich, rich, yeah, very rich. Yeah, it's kind of milky. Wow. Yeah. Tastes good. Um, make sure you peel the brunk. Couldn't get any better than this, say bye. This is the best so far on the mission here. This here. We at the primary school here. And today is Sunday. No school day today. This is the nursery here as well, or? School feeding program. This is the feeding program building. Um, the ICT center, the top. Up there, okay, computer center, yeah. And at the bottom here, you're having a feeding program. I don't know how bright it's gonna be. There's no light, I gotta open a window. So, you know, sir advising me that every single day I'll feed the children here in the mission, right? Yeah. Right, they have a feeding program here. The kids will come here and get a meal. And you have the kitchen right across here. Wow, yeah, so right, they cook right here. Wow, this is this is awesome, man. So they cook here and then they feed the kids. It's a great initiative, man. Um the only problem that the ICT hub didn't open as yet and there would constantly be people traversing and it's just me as oh. a donation to seal the the, the, the bottom there. Right, because um, people walk upstairs and then you have food at the bottom. Gotcha, gotcha. Lovely. Whoa! These are all the stocks you have here cooking this, for the kids. Yeah, this, these are the stocks. All right, and lovely pineapples and things. Them are really big. With, 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 with a meal, there is a fruit combo. A fruit, a, yeah, yeah. A, a, a salad. So we, we try to balance the, the meal. Yeah. We try to get all yeah. nutrients. Yeah, so you get, you get a piece of fruit along with your lunch. All right, which is a great initiative. So, the story telling me here, I gotta seal this bottom here because when the kids eat you know the dust falls onto them all right so let's make that possible all right if you're with me show me some love show, show the kids here in this mission some love all right well let me use this gotta a little makeshift motorbike here boy come on man come on man for this there boy nice nice Makeshift man, they might, might modify the motorbike man. <laughs> a converter, convertible. <laughs> they might have a convertible motorbike there, boy. And this is how you lose weight and stay fit in the in, in the back dam. You have to walk and go do everything, right? Yeah, yeah you get the exercise. Nice man. So I'll give you guys a little tour. You know, a ground tour at the back here. Oh. Oh. Then by the by the but the bar they're knocking something there by Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Until they cook it up a storm there by family from America or I guess a family from overseas or they cook it up a, a storm under the shed there by. So over there is a, a little bar, you know. You see them fellas at the front there? They might be lashing something there, you know. 
Son de man, es quiet down here, man. And they have a um, program here where you have the solar panel. It's right at the back there. That provide current, you know. All the street lights then. Down here. You got some cassava tree down there. Avocado. Bling bling. Orange. A lot of trees in here, man. And this man short telling the right message by stay cool and look what we're going for cool banks beer yes yeah, so this is how the folks live man you know it's not like we on the roadside we have fence around we yard you know fence up we thing everything is open here it's like florida man the yard open <laughs> it's really nice here man yeah a lot of it got snow here it's like snow falling here right <laughs> snow falling last night right it's kind of cool <laughs> Yeah man. You know these folks live off the land man and the water. And this is the best place of pineapple to grow man on the sandy area and coconuts. <laughs> Walking it all the way. <laughs> this is a military agriculture um program here. The hydromet um program that they have and they have the uh, solar farm here. So these folks get current from this to supply all the street lights in the mission here on the mission here and they have a generator over there that works for like about six hours every night or five hours from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. I guarantee I lost about three to four pounds since I'm here for the three days because the amount of walking I did it's good, it's good for the heart so at least you guys get in the ground tour of what it looks like here amongst the villagers, you know, in this community and we only halfway through the distance, you know, we gotta walk like way up ahead there to return those bottles nothing beats a cool Guinness by with cool atmosphere, the rain falling and this is a hangover Guinness, right? while this man turbocharged in here right now, look turbocharged, you know and he's staying cool and this parrot and this parrot, I love this parrot bustle off, bustle off <laughs> bustle off now I gone drink water and mind my business boy what happened? bustle off I'm waiting I think, you, I think your camera shy, that's what happened with you. You're gonna be one famous parrot, one famous bird, you're gonna be in Hollywood. Alright? But look at the beauty here of the um the rain and the rainforest boy. Man. Really, really nice. A lot of cassava. This is one of the main food here, right? Cassava. Yeah, I plant a lot of cassava here. Yeah. And pineapple. And it's the right kind of soil for it. The mixture with the sun and the dirt together. What you just do with them fire side over there, Auntie? Let's have a bread. Are you on bacon today? No. Like them fowl with and there's one. Yeah. We can cook one? Yes. Hey, you wanna go home? Auntie said you get one fowl. Yeah. Where do you go? You get the fowl, you can be fowl. So I go to the fire. Me not ask you that. Me ask if you want to go home. After hearing we get to the fowl pack and we we'll cook it on under the shed. You go. No, me won't go if I hear I get a full cock and full curry. Especially a black one. A black one too, boy. A black fowl. I have a fish pro. I buy fish pro came in. Ask the neighbor, you looking for a black rooster, a black fowl cock. The lady look at fish pro like this. It's like, what do you want that specific color to do? <laughs> but you see how many, you can see a lot of, you know, black fowl and fowl cock and one white one. You know, that's ma mainly the main colors uh, um, at, the, at, the, at the hen and, and the other rooster here. You hear? The bird, the bird gaffing again. So we got a pineapple farm here. We are heading to one of the residents here who have a lot of pineapple, pineapple trees. We got to pick pineapple, you know, fresh out of the farm. Manga, I've been taking me there too. Show me the pineapple. 
farm because yeah, I know I love fruits. I love to hunt people fruit tree, you know. There are a lot of coconuts here too, boy. And this is almond nut. The sour nut tastes just like this nut here, almond nut. All right. We arrive at the pine farm and look at it here. Nice pineapple. Wow. And I was told one tree give one pineapple only. But all these little chicken you call it around here, you can replant them back. All right, so you can multiply. So one tree will give you maybe seven or eight more small trees you can replant. And that's a good thing. But every tree only give like one pineapple. I'm gonna confirm that in a moment with you guys, for you guys. And they got water here too, you know, black water. They have, you know, solar, sometimes you at the city. Like for a couple of hours, look at pineapple here, man. Wow. Hmm, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, this tree. Far so along there, the weather like, boy. Look how many pineapple trees they have around. Man. Wow, look at the size of that one, boy. There's one cassava tree here. Pineapple. And this is the farm here. Morning, morning, Uncle. How are you doing? Hi. All right. Got a lot of pineapple tree here, man. Yeah, man. All right. Oh, boy. I love the fireside here. The chul, huh? Or fireside. We could... Maybe we could have come here and camp, boy. And cook. You pine? You bust your pine. You... All right. So then, boy, going and dock to the pine there, right? That's a local dialect we're going to use. Dock to the pine, which means they're going to do an operation on the pine. <laughs> Peel the pine. Man. Oh. oh, how many, Uncle, how many pineapple you get from one tree? Yeah. One pineapple for every tree? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, one pineapple tree, you only get one fruit from it. However, you get a lot of small roots, like where you can plant back, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. From the tree. Lovely. Man. Hey. This is awesome. Look cassava tree we have out there, boy. I hope you guys are loving the scenery here, man. This is part of Guyana. Up Mahaikoni River. Marika Bay. And this is how you You right? Yeah. Do it now? Yeah. Man. Man peeling the pine. This man peeling the pine there, boy. Take your time and peel your pine. That's another um, mm -hmm. slang we just yeah. use in Guyana. Mm -hmm. Take your time and peel your pine. Like some other thing. Yeah. yeah. Pineapple is a very healthy fruit. I mean, it has a lot of natural sugar, but it has some other benefits, mm -hmm. which is good. And I know people are talking, it's good for COVID. Break. Good for COVID? Yeah. Has some something, something high. High in something that is effective against COVID. Cheers. Mmm. You don't need salt on this pine. This pineapple is sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Very sweet. We don't need salt, Uncle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get fresher on this. Right out of the farm there, by. Into my mouth. Life is beautiful in the jungle marika bai hey as we pass in through the village i run back to my partner hey bye <laughs> good to see you back once again and now you brought in some bangs beer by one case alone on the mission this bangs beer is like gold right now because nobody ain't got bangs beer for the mission right and look i run into a partner here 20 home a year by that's about 1990 something the man harvey by all the way from orialo pleased to meet you man me and this man come a long long way you know Bum well, fellas. Yeah, we catch our face with some hook, you don't All know. Alright. And that we are you can't use a hook or seeing buddy? Hook, hook, you don't know who's hook. Hook. man. Yeah, buddy. But lucky I left the rod in the boat. Yeah. 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 Suspect now. <laughs> <laughs> so we never came by uncle. 
And this man is a big fan of the channel, boy. Yeah. All right, pleased to meet you, man. Yeah. You know, and thanks for the breadfruit. Yeah, yeah, man. We're gonna fry. We're gonna never out the bread. Never out the breadfruit, yeah, so. Yeah, you go Florida, you want I'm not, I'm not gonna come care for you, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, it was a pleasure meeting you guys, man. All right. We are leaving today, but we, we are gonna come back soon. All right. Hey, as the hour counting down for us to leave, you know, um, it's bittersweet moments. I'm feeling sad that I have to leave all this goodness and all this beauty behind. But of course, I'm missing my family as well, so I would love to go back to them, all right? But we have two hours more here, and we're gonna make here while the sun not shining, because there's no sunshine right now, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Man. Inside. I'm on fish pro live it. What's going on, boy? What's going on? We, hey, we got gold. We're gonna find gold. Right now, that case of beer is gold. Fish pro? The entire mission don't have beer, no. Lance beer. No, it's not the one. Wow. Got some folks over by land, didn't they? They're gonna picnic, you know. Hey, we all, you know, getting ready to, to roll out. Marika, bye. I'll roti and chicken curry. <laughs> Fish bro, how life can get better, boy? Cheers, man. Cheers, boy. <laughs> Thanks to the people of America, boy. We get a welcoming roti. I'll roti, boss up shot, and chicken curry, boy. My friend here, the captain, brought me some traditional wine from the mission here, boy. Man said a thing named Kazakh. Wow. Supposed to bring some for Ken. Mmm. Smell good, smell fruity there, boy. Where is it made from? Cassava. Cassava? Pure cassava. Lovely. How much glass will get me drunk? Well, depends how much you could drink. But don't drink more than five, you can't travel. Not more than five? No. I can try half a glass or no. <laughs> <laughs> Just for now, right? It's sweet and it's nice, but. You give a kick? You give a kick after. Just like the Paiwari? Yeah. Alright. More worse than the Paiwari. More worse than the Paiwari. And I know what Paiwari, boy. <laughs> So I got my Kazaki. First time around I taste in the cassava wine. So let me try let me try this much first. Come you wanna get drunk yet? <laughs> I wanna get drunk, so I'll try in a little bit for the start. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Tastes like sorrel. Fish bro, this like sorrel drink. Yeah, this some, call some sorrel. Cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cassava wine, this like sorrel. Real good. And this is cheaper, you know. And cheap thing that's always sweet. Alright. <laughs> cheap thing that's sweet, boy? Yeah. Alright, cheers, man. Cheers. Good. Life. Can't get better than this here, boy. Cheers, brother. Yeah, cheers. To the Kazakh. Cheers. This tastes like cashew drink, man. Is it a cashew drink? Yeah. Wow. Kazakh, it's a cashew drink. It also tastes like ginger beer, too. You know, like, like, you know, like, with the pineapple, we call it a pineapple drink. We soak the pineapple and make a drink. The pine, the pine skin. Oh, uh, the local drink. The local pine. pine skin, man, yeah. yeah. Have the same kind of flavor. Like the pineapple skin, we remember we used to soak it and make it make like a drink. <laughs> Tastes good though. <laughs> the moment has arrived for us to leave this beautiful place. It's one o'clock and we are loading up the boats. We gotta journey on another two to three hours down river out to Mahaikoni. I hate to leave this place, I hate to say goodbyes, but hey, it is what it is. We're gonna come back here definitely sometime in the near future. Cause we gotta go do some fishing you know, and some hunting. We were supposed to do that now, but because we got here late, we didn't get to um, do it. You know, we have to enjoy life and the beauty of what life has to offer. It's a modest community, the people here, are very friendly, very warm, very welcoming, very nice people. We really had an enjoyable stay here for the last 
72 hours, but sad we have to go now. We have to say goodbye. And to Uncle He, it was a pleasure meeting you, man. Oh, Thanks for all the help, man. Yeah, yeah. All right? Really appreciate it. We're going to meet again, man. Yeah, buddy. All right, cool. You're yeah, coming for go fishing, man? Yes, go for fishing, there, there, no there, problem. Yeah. All right, cool. I will love, like the, love for that. Like the no problem, brother. Yeah. And to the captain himself, thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you, man. And we're going to meet again, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll take care, folks. Right. Good. Bye bye, bye bye. We're going to come again, don't worry. We shall meet again. The goodness continue. So we're leaving. Direct one o'clock. All right. Direct one o'clock. Yep. We leave it on time. Bye bye. Yeah, what hey? Thank y'all for everything. Have a nice take care, brother. We are calling you next time you come back. Everybody. <laughs> All right. It's sad that we have to leave, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's a bittersweet memory here, bro. That's all we're taking with me. Alright?
wear it out of stock too. I disconnected my gas line because I want to use out the gas that is inside the line right now. Them other crew, the other crew already up there, you know. Right? The fish pro win the race, he coming second. I get last. journey continues man. life is good two hours 50 minutes we are out one tank of gas brought us out brought me out because I have a light boat one passenger and just this here so it's depending on how much load you have that's how much gas you're gonna burn and how long you want to take it took us six hours to get in because we had a lot a lot of load all right but only three hours almost three hours to get out all right and we faithful, Uncle Plantain look we faithful um 15 there like. And thanks to my man Troy once again, my battery. You know, do it donating this um battery towards a good cause, alright? We act the kindness. All the guys are helping out. We're setting up. Now we're gonna head back to Georgetown. To show, I want to say special thank you to the show, bringing us back out, you know, half of the team back out. Because we would not have made it here by now. Two hours and 50 minutes it took us to reach out here. And if it wasn't for the show, bringing half the crew and all these load, it would have taken us another six hours. But we are thankful, we are here. Y'all enjoy the trip, bye? Can we do this again? Yes. yes. Definitely. Definitely? Definitely. All right, all let's thanks, do it again. All, all thanks to you. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, there's a team. We go as a team. Yeah, thanks yeah. to the team, man. Teamwork. Yeah, team. All right, buddy. Hope you guys enjoy the couple of days with us. Hope you enjoy part one. Hope you have enjoyed part two as well. Hope you're staying safe and positive. Y'all know what's going to come next. We're going to drive home. You know, we get some dinner. We're going to knock something slight. And we can enjoy what's left of the Sunday. All right, Marika Bai, we coming again soon. We soon come. So I want to thank you for the privilege of your time. Hope you're staying safe and positive. Stay blessed. God bless you. Peace out. And I will see you on the next adventure.